Previously on The Adventures of Keith Flippin, Didgeridoo player from the third dimension. Queen Calamitous crashed the 222nd annual Galactic Orphans Gala. Stealing Penelope Goodhart from the event. Keith noticed the Queen's dastardly scheme and rallied Colonel Lance Victory and Professor Gutterschnitz to chase. But during the chase, the evil Space Queen lured our heroes into a trap. Queen Calamity is getting away! We must stop this evil beast! We're going to talk the fantasy in here. I don't know how we're going to stop it. I have to oh. agree with Keith. Wait, you agree with me? By the time we halt this devious creature, we may have completely lost the trail of Queen Calamitous. Or so. Hey, we should go back to the gallows so we can play my show. There! There must be another one. No, oh, man, these tentacles are as risky as I go. I'm, I'm out. What is it, Professor? No. Professor? The prototype smart ship. The revolutionary smart ship flies light years on only one drop of fuel, making it safe in all atmospheres across the universe. Your mileage may vary. And? It is equipped with the latest in weapons technology across the galaxy. Not to mention a carbon footprint so tiny, a molecular marsupia would have trouble finding it. Smart ship. Why haven't we been using this? At last! We are upon her. That evil queen will finally be brought to justice. Thanks, Space Buddha. Hey, let's use our lasers to blow that bitch's engines up. No can do, chum. Not enough power in the reactor. I burned most of the fuel up chasing her. I thought one drop was supposed to last 5,000 light years. Yes! Yes! But it only holds one drop of fuel. Wow. You guys chase villains professionally, too. Careful, Colonel. I believe she has detected your approach. She's using her asteroid divider. Prepare her for evasive action. Is she throwing rocks at us? Meanwhile. The asteroids aren't stopping them, your highness. What does it take to kill that man? I would rid myself of their precious Penelope were she not the key to finding the ancient plot device we seek. The plot device? But it's just a legend. No weapon could be that powerful. I assure you, it's quite real. I'll never help you, you monster. Oh, but you will. Your birthmark contains the key to finding it. And once I connect the device to my graviton inversion beam, all the remaining worlds of the Galactic Alliance will fall at my feet! Or suffer the consequences of their insolence. <laughs> oh, my queen! It seems the Colonel Victory has avoided all the asteroids. Zombies, prepare to repel borders. Tiny? <laughs> Prepare plan 39-F oh. for the handsome colonel and his slacker friend. You mean the spicy etouffee? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> it will be a meal they'll never forget. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Outside, Colonel Victory evades the Queen's defenses. 
Once again, we have slipped by the coins of defense. Yeah, about that. You ever notice how she never secures her airlocks? Shh! I hear her guards coming. Seriously, that's like the fifth time we've just boarded her ship. Use the wall, you idiot! Great job, chum! Oh, thanks. But a giant boulder, seriously? This is a spaceship, not an Aztec tomb. <laughs> Did you think the boulder was actually the trap? You must be mad if you think some giant lobsters will keep us from bringing you to justice. I think they're crawfish. I don't care what kind of crustacean she has up her malicious sleeve. Do you hear me, Calamitous? We will stop you! I think not. Tiny, inject section C of the ship and our guests into space. Is a hero in the hands worth two in a prison? Has our duo met their crustacean? Will the queen cave to the zombie union and give them full dental coverage? Find out in the next thrilling episode of The Adventures of Keith Flippin, Didgeridoo Player from the Third Dimension. Episode 2, One Bomb Too Many. <laughs>